good afternoon, students. Uh, we have a mini lecture that is focusing on the physical features of East Africa. It's presented by Angel George, a student of Masters of Education from Institute of Education Development, East Africa, Kazakhstan University. Uh, the physical features of East Africa, we have to begin with the definition. It's defined as landforms that encompass the Earth's surface. And they include mountains such as Kilimanjaro, Rwenjori, Kenya, and Ergon. Then we have the plateaus. The examples of the plateaus include Pipa and Makale in Tanzania. Then we have plains. The examples of plains include Kilombero and Malgarasi in Tanzania as well. Then swamps. The swamps examples include Lake Yoga and Nakasongola swamps in Uganda. Then valleys. The example of valleys include the Great Rift Valley. Then we have rivers, lakes, and ocean. Those are water bodies. Uh, we have to move ahead and look at the Rift Valley as an entity. The Rift Valley is an elongated trough or a linear shaped lowland created by geologic rift or tensional forces within the Earth's crust. That means as the Earth pulls apart, it creates a weakness. And that weakness pushes or creates a valley, which is uh, named as the Rift Valley. So these forces pull apart along lines of weakness or fault lines as they increase the opposite tensor. A Rift Valley results. So the Rift Valley starts from Ethiopia, it runs through Kenya, and ends in Mozambique. So it is divided into three parts, namely the Eastern Branch. The Eastern Branch runs from Lake Turkana in Kenya to southern part of Tanzania in Lake Malawi. And the Western Arm runs from Lake Malawi and ends at Lake Albert in Uganda. Meanwhile, there is a third section which is known as the Ethiopian branch. It runs from the Red Sea to Lake Rukan. There are some features that are found in this Rift Valley. One is the lakes. The lakes of the Rift Valley include the lakes of the Western Arm. They are Lake Albert, Lake Edward, Lake George, and Lake Tanganyika. Then we have Lake Kivu, Lake Rukwa, Lake Malawi, which is found in the southern Tanzania. Then the lakes also that are found in the eastern arm include Lake Turkana, Baringo, Naivasa, Nakuru, and the rest. Among all these lakes, we found Lake Naivasa and Lake Baringo, which are, contains fresh water. And then the economic activities in the, Rift, in the Rift Valley include tourism. The tourist sites where wildlife is engaged include Kigio Wildlife, Naivasa National Park, Bogora National Park, Hells Gate National Park. All these have various wildlife and attract tourists, hence bringing foreign exchange to the country. We also have urban centers in the Rift Valley that include Adepo, Inyang, Mariagat, Nakuru, and Naivasa. There are many, but these are some few that I can uh, explain unto you. There are other activities that we have include agriculture, mining, for example, salt in Lake Magadi, fishing in the lakes, and then schools and human settlements also exist in this valley. Here comes the East African map showing the Rift Valley, starting from Red Sea, running through Ethiopia, to Lake Turkana, down to Lake Malawi. Then the Western Arm connects through Lake Tanganyika, and then we found lakes. Edward and George in Uganda. Thank you for listening.